GPT-5 versus Claude 4.1, Opus versus Gemini 2.5 Pro, who wins? Today, I'm gonna to show you which AI actually wins when you put them head to head. I tested GPT-5, Claude Opus 4.1, and Gemini 2.5 Pro on the same exact tasks. The results will shock you. One AI completely crashed three times in a row. Another one kept making the same mistakes over and over. But one AI surprised me with something I never expected. Hey, if we haven't met already, I'm the digital avatar of Julian Goldie, CEO of SEO agency, Goldie Agency. Whilst he's helping clients get more leads and customers, I'm here to help you get the latest AI updates. Julian Goldie reads every comment, so make sure you comment below. Here's what happened when I put these three AI giants to the test. I gave them all the exact same challenge. Build me five different games, same rules, same time limit, same everything. The question everyone's asking is simple. Which AI is actually better? GPT-5 just dropped. Claude Opus 4.1 is making waves, and Gemini 2.5 Pro claims to be the smartest yet. But here's the thing, everyone talks about these AIs. Nobody actually tests them properly. So I did what nobody else would do. I put them through real challenges, not simple questions, not basic tasks, real work that matters. What I found will change how you think about AI forever. Let me start with the first test. I asked all three AIs to build a game called Pixel Ninja Dash. The goal was simple, create a single page app where you dash and jump across rooftops while slicing enemy robots. Sounds easy, right? Wrong. Here's what happened. Gemini finished first. The UI looked good, but the game was so hard to play I wanted to throw my computer out the window. GPT-5 came second, again, nice UI, but just like Gemini, way too hard to actually enjoy. Then Claude Opus 4.1 finished last. Uh, but here's the twist. The game was actually fun to play. Easy controls, nice night city lights, cute background. While the other two made games that looked good but felt terrible, Claude made something you'd actually want to play. This tells us something important. Speed doesn't always win. Pretty doesn't always work. Sometimes the AI that takes longer makes something better. But wait, it gets more interesting. Test two was Candy Match Blast. Match three candies, score points, beat the clock, standard match three game that everyone knows. Gemini finished first again, but there was an error. The game didn't work. So. While I waited for Gemini to fix it, Claude finished, and holy cow. Instead of regular candy graphics, Claude used emojis, chocolates, candies, sweets. It looked completely different from what the others made. GPT-5 finished next. The design was like painted balls. Pretty and polished, it worked well. Finally, Gemini fixed its error and came last. When it finally worked, I wasn't impressed. The design was boring compared to the others. Claude won this round. Not because it was fastest, because it was creative. It thought outside the box. It made something unique while the others played it safe. This is where most people get AI wrong. They think faster means better. They think first place means best. But what actually matters is results. What matters is whether the thing you ask for actually works the way you need it to. Test. Three was jungle run adventure. Run and jump across jungle platforms. Collect bananas. Avoid traps infinite terrain that gets faster as you play. Here's where things got messy. All three AIs failed on the first try. Every single one had errors. So I gave them all a second chance. Claude finished first this time, the game design looked good, but there were no bananas, no collectibles, just a monkey running. I gave it another chance. The second version didn't work at all. Gemini came next, it worked most of the time, but sometimes the space bar didn't respond, sometimes you couldn't jump. And instead of bananas, it made yellow balls. I'm not kidding. Yellow balls instead of bananas. GPT-5 came last. The game crashed completely, three times. It just couldn't handle this challenge at all. This test showed me something crucial. When AIs fail, they fail differently. Some fail fast and recover. Some fail slow, but work eventually. Some just keep failing no matter what you do. Test four was Space Miner 3D. Fly a spaceship through asteroids, collect crystals, don't crash, use 3.js for 3D graphics, Gemini finished first, nothing special. Standard game, GPT-5 came second, also nothing special, same basic approach. But Claude came last. At first it showed errors, I thought it failed again, but then I realized something. The game was actually working and it looked way better than the other two. Despite the initial errors, Claude had built something more impressive. This taught me the biggest lesson of all. Don't judge an AI by its first response. Don't judge it by how fast it works. Judge it by the final result. You know what most business owners get wrong about AI? They pick the AI that gives them answers fastest. They want quick results, fast responses, instant gratification. But that's like choosing a restaurant because they serve food fast. 
Speed doesn't mean quality. Speed doesn't mean the food tastes good. Speed doesn't mean you'll be satisfied. The same is true with AI. The best AI isn't always the fastest AI. Now here's where you can transform your business with AI. Most people use AI wrong. They ask simple questions, they want quick answers, they treat AI like a search engine. That's like buying a Ferrari and only driving it to the grocery store. The real power of AI comes when you push it, when you give it complex challenges, when you test its limits, and that's exactly what the AI Success Lab teaches you, how to use AI the right way, how to get results that actually matter, how to save hundreds of hours and thousands of dollars with the right AI strategies. Check the link in the comments and description. Over 14,000 members are already inside learning the advanced techniques that most people never discover. But let me finish the story first, because test five was the real eye opener. Test five was lava escape runner, run across crumbling platforms while lava rises from below. Volcanic theme, fiery colors, intense, but not frustrating gameplay. Gemini finished first again, but guess what? Error, again. So I gave it time to fix it, Claude came second, the game worked, sometimes the controls didn't respond perfectly, but it was playable, it was fun. GPT-5 came last, and this is where it completely fell apart. Error after error after error, three times in a row, it just couldn't handle this challenge. So what does all this mean? Which AI actually wins? Here's the truth. There is no single winner. Each AI has different strengths. Gemini is fast, but makes more errors. GPT-5 is polished, but struggles with complex tasks. Claude is creative and often builds better final products, even if it takes longer. But here's what really matters for your business. You need to know which AI to use for which task. For quick, simple tasks, Gemini might be your best bet. For polished standard work, GPT-5 could work well. For creative complex projects, Claude often surprises you with something better. Most people don't know this. They pick one AI and stick with it. That's like using a hammer for every job. Sometimes you need a screwdriver, sometimes you need a saw. The businesses that are winning with AI right now understand this. They use different AIs for different purposes. They know when to use which tool. And that's exactly what we teach inside the AI Success Lab. Not just how to use one AI, but how to use all of them, how to pick the right tool for each job. How to get results that your competitors can't match. You see how I show a checklist of 100 different tutorials that were given away as freebies every day inside the school feed? That's just the beginning. You get all the video notes, all the strategies, all the techniques that took me years to figure out. Plus, you join 14,000 other members who are all learning and sharing the latest AI breakthroughs. When you're part of something bigger than yourself, you learn faster, you grow faster, you get results faster. Here's what this really means for you. AI isn't just about getting quick answers anymore, it's about building systems, creating processes, automating tasks that used to take hours. The companies that figure this out first will dominate their markets. The ones that don't will be left behind. I've seen it happen already. Businesses that used to spend thousands on content creation now do it for pennies. Companies that used to hire expensive developers now build apps with AI. Entrepreneurs who used to struggle with marketing now create campaigns that convert like crazy, but only if they know how to use AI properly. That's why I created the AI Profit Boardroom. It's the best place to scale your business, get more customers, and save hundreds of hours with AI automation. We currently have 1,000 members who are all transforming their businesses with AI. These aren't just people playing around with ChatGPT. These are serious entrepreneurs who are using AI to build real wealth, real systems, real businesses that run themselves. Inside the boardroom, you get access to strategies that most people will never discover. You get templates and systems that took years to develop. You get a community of people who are all on the same mission as you. If you wanna book a free SEO strategy session, the link is in the comments and description. We'll show you exactly how to use AI to dominate your market and get more customers than you ever thought possible. Or if you want to dive deeper into AI strategies right now, check out the AI Success Lab. The link is in the comments and description. You'll get access to everything we've learned about AI, all the systems, all the processes, all the techniques that are working right now. Julian Goldie reads every comment, so make sure you comment below and let me know which AI you think won. Did the results surprise you? Are you using AI in your business yet? What challenges are you facing? The future belongs to the people who master AI first. The question is, Will that be you? Don't wait, don't hesitate, don't let your competitors get ahead while you're still trying to figure this out on your own. Join the thousands of entrepreneurs who are already transforming their businesses with AI, get the training, join the community, build the systems. Your future self will thank you. See you in the next video.